Good morning. So I have these gumball machines on my table this morning for an order for a banner. I haven't made these in a while. So I wanted to show you how I made this impression. It's super easy and I wanted you to try it too. So the die that I'm using is by Sizzix, just gumball machine, pretty straightforward. The number is 658464. I don't know if this is retired. I've had it for a few years. I'm sure you can still find it on eBay. So I do have a tutorial on YouTube. If you just search my first and last name, you'll be able to find it It's pretty easy. I think I made it over the holidays and I just teach you how to add this metallic fabric with heat and bond to the felt. It's really easy. So a lot of these dies actually come with um, these impression folders. So it comes as a set, you buy it together. And this is the one for the gumball. And it actually, um, is made for paper, but it works really well with foiled fabric. So I just have my trusty Big Shot and you're going to need the um, multi-purpose platform for this. This has seen better days, please forgive me. One cutting plate and then I usually use a shim, like this little piece of cardboard. So you're going to take your die cut metallic fabric and this only works on the metallic fabric. If you try to do it on felt, it will leave an impression, but over time it'll just fade. So this works best on this metallic fabric, just an FYI. Now this is the most nerve wracking part is you have to center it just right. So you're gonna wanna put it in your folder. You might have to do it a couple times to kind of get it straight there. So next you'll put it on your multi-purpose platform. You'll use your cutting plate. Now, if you're using paper, you would use two cutting plates, but since this felt is kind of strange, I just use the shim and then you're gonna wanna send it through. All right, and it should be impressed. Let's see. Oh, there it goes. Isn't that perfect? Isn't it amazing? So um, there are other folders that you can use um, with for patterns. I know Tim Holtz has a feather one that's amazing. So, so I usually keep all of my thin dies and my folders in this and it just makes it nice and organized. But I just wanted to show you all the different ones that they make. So here's feathers butterflies. This one is by Doris. So the Doris ones work exactly the same and I love this mason jar one. They have patterns as you can see. Um, let's see what else do I have. Oh yeah here are some like little chevron arrows, polka dots. So check them out. And the Doris ones you can usually get on sale like at Joann's for like $3.99. I mean, they're really inexpensive, so I would play around with them, see how you like it, and let me know if you use them, use this technique. 